My name's Cy King, I'm from, um, I'm one of the hairy bikers, as I hope you know. Um, I, I still live in the Northeast, and I'm incredibly proud to be uh, helping promote a new initiative by Northumberland County Council, which is called Produced in Northumberland. And all of this is what we do, quite apart from the meat products and the organic vegetables, and, and it's about time that people knew about it. And shout about our artisan producers because you know what? You're flipping marvellous. Something is stirring in Northumberland. From the stretches of sandy coastline to the beautiful far-reaching countryside, our local products are as diverse as our landscape and the businesses that call it home are capturing the heart and soul of Northumberland in everything they produce. Hi, welcome to Doddington Dairy. I'm Jackie and we make ice cream, yoghurt and cheese up here in the Glendale Valley of North Northumberland. Hi guys, welcome to Marlish Waters. I'm Joe. And I'm Elizabeth. And we run the business here on Marlish Farm in Northumberland. I'm Anthony Carroll from Carroll's Heritage Potatoes. And I'm Anthony's wife, Lucy, and we work together. I'm Martin Charlton, welcome to the Old Boathouse Amble, our award-winning fish restaurant. Hi, I'm Mark Turnbull, uh, fifth generation butcher at R. Turnbull & Sons. My name is Jeff Southern, and uh, with my wife Jill, we own and run St Cuthbert's House, which is a five-star, um, high-quality B&B business on the Northumberland coast, um, just on the outskirts of sea houses. Our approach has always been to look for anything that we use in our business. First and foremost, we try and source that locally, ranging from a loaf of bread that's delivered to our door every morning from the bakery just 200 yards away, um, jams and preserves we use from uh, Jane Harbottle at um, uh, Willow Preserves. And then the more core elements of the breakfast, all of our meat uh, is local meat, comes from Chris Green uh, Butchers. And the fish comes from the traditional smokehouse, uh, just half a mile down the road in, uh, in sea houses. And then things like eggs and milk, we try and buy that stuff from local suppliers. Potatoes are another thing. Um, Jill has come up with some really innovative ways of serving potatoes on the breakfast table and they come from Carol's Heritage Potatoes. We grow about 14 different varieties of heritage potatoes. So we grow the potatoes here, we store them, grade them, pack them and distribute them from here so that we know the provenance of everything there are huge benefits to us as a business by being involved with Produced in Northumberland. That starts with just a voice for produce that has grown in Northumberland and being able to talk to fellow businesses about pro our produce. We're really, really proud that we can take Produced in Northumberland wherever we go and tell people about the fantastic county we live in. The water is the basis for all of our new soft drinks and mixes that's drawn from the Northumbrian Hills. The source of the water is the North Pennines running into Cheviot and it takes about 150 years to filter down through the different layers of rock and reach our aquifer. The bottles come in from our bottle manufacturer and they're sterile. We depalletize them onto the bottle loading table and then label the bottles. The bottles then move into the main section of the bottling line which is the rinser filler capper. They're rinsed with spring water which comes from the well and we do that to make sure that there's no particulate or contaminants in the water. They then move to the packing station where they're packed into cases and then shrink wrapped and palletized. We're very unique in that we make all of our soft drinks, mixes and tonics ourselves here on the farm. We blend all of our own syrups with our spring water and bottle it at source. Thanks to the Producer Northumberland scheme, we managed to develop some fantastic partnerships with other local manufacturers. In particular, we work very closely with the Moreland Spirit Company who produce Heppel Gin and helped us to develop our distiller's choice tonic. We supply a lot of the top hotels, restaurants, bars and catering outlets throughout the north of England and have a fantastic customer base in the northeast and Northumberland especially.
The ice cream is um, made from natural ingredients. We only use very simple ingredients. So all our ice creams are based on milk, cream, sugar, skim milk powder and free range egg yolks. And then we add the flavors. The cheese is made using again our own cow's milk, but this time we generally use the, the raw, unpasteurised uh, milk of the cows here. It's quite nice to use produce from around Northumberland, so we use um, heather honey from the Chambridge Honey Farm near Berwick-upon-Tweed, we use Newcastle Brown Ale in one of our ice creams, Anik Rum, we use meringues from a local supplier. The benefits of um, us being in, produced in Northumberland to our customers means that they know that we have been actually audited as a business and there's a guarantee that, that what they're getting is what it says on the tin effectively. The kind of things we, we sell from Northumberland, uh, predominantly obviously as butchers, we sell a lot of meat, we have a lot of beef, a lot of pork and a lot of lamb. Um, we also do a lot of other products sourced from Northumberland, such as eggs, honey, uh, jams, preserves. We also do a, a large range of cooked meats, pies and pastries, which are all made using Northumbrian meats as well. The biggest benefits of being a member of producing Northumberland is confidence to the customer. Um, we're independently audited to check that what we say we are selling is what we are selling. So I think it's, um, it, it gives great confidence to the customers. Also, because we're quite a rural community, um, it's nice to support local businesses. So a lot of people know the farms or the farmers that have produced the stuff that we sell and they're, we're able to support the economy in that way as well. But also tourists coming into the area like to know that they're buying stuff that's been produced in the county of Northumberland.